a one-way, one-block alley as neighbors living in constant fear. Willow Street currently has the highest concentration of tents in San Francisco, according to city data. And residents from the luxury condo next to it say the problem has only exploded since COVID. So what's the solution? KPIX 5's Betty Yu has been investigating this story for weeks now, and here's what she uncovered. It's a street residents say they're afraid to drive through, and most wouldn't dare walk through it day or night. It's pretty consistently nerve-wracking. This is just seems to be a safe space for chop shops, uh, drug trafficking. The garbage, first of all, is, like that's a huge health concern, rats. And it's all within feet of the Artani, a modern condominium on Van Ness where units have sold for more than a million dollars. What would you say is the most egregious part of that alleyway? Uh, probably the threats of violence. The threats of violence to us at other residents in the building. I've seen people physically fighting, um, and I myself was leaving once, and a man approached my car yelling obscenities and threatening me, um, which was really scary. There, there was a guy who passed out in front of our door with a needle hanging out of his arm all day long, and our children had to walk past that. Artani residents say they're confronted with unwanted activity as soon as they exit the garage. They shared photos of a man they say regularly urinates. The smell permeates the entire garage. They say another tries to break into their garage. Others are captured damaging their property, even trespassing and stealing packages. I can't really reconcile um, just the fact that this criminal activity is allowed to happen. And, you know, I myself have called the cops a number of times. As recently as October 5th, the city came and did a complete sweep of the street, seen here in this photo. But by the next day, the tents and the trash had returned. The police don't actually come when we call 911 because we're actively being threatened by somebody who's wielding a club or a knife. They don't come. San Francisco police directed our inquiry to the Healthy Streets Operations Center, which coordinates the city's response to quality of life issues. The Department of Emergency Management says city teams visited Willow Street on 24 different days this year and placed more than 150 people in navigation centers, hospitals, or shelters. They also removed more than 375 empty tents. Still, the crisis has driven away customers, according to this local business owner. Absolutely, we don't feel safe here because we have really bad experience experience during the COVID. Whenever I work, I lock the doors because I want to kind of like try, I'm trying to keep customers safe. Supervisor Matt Haney's office recently held a town hall and promised deep cleanings twice a month on Willow Street. Residents want more police patrols. You know, I think this is such a wonderful place and I, I don't want to be afraid to live here. Betty, did residents say whether this has prompted anyone to actually move, say we've had it, we're out of here? Well, they're definitely thinking about it, but they yeah. tell me that it's very difficult right now to sell or even rent because sure. of the situation. And then mm. there are other residents who say, you know what, we love the neighborhood, we love the building, and we hope that with enough pressure on city agencies and, and leaders, the situation will improve, but so far it hasn't. Well, and it's indicative of what's going on throughout the city, throughout mm -hmm. California, throughout the country. The homelessness problem is an issue that has to be addressed. Exactly. And one resident said he's lived there for 10 years. This was not there 10 years ten ago. 10 years ago. Yeah, I'm wondering yeah. if they're going to add some security. Maybe the Homeowners Association could add something. They plan to, yeah. for sure.